Hey everybody, this is Kressel Snapdragon, and for today's Mix It Up Bot tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a currency system within the bot, and your viewers can use the currency they've obtained to, for instance, play mini games and use different commands. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First, you want to come to the sidebar here and go to Currency Rank Inventory. So when you first get here, you're not going to have anything. And you can see I've already created a currency system. Now this is a really simple currency system. I'll get into more in-depth currency systems in later videos, but right now we're just making a really simple system. I called mine Snap Coins. To get started on your own, go to Add Currency down at the bottom. I'm just going to go to Edit so you can see what I put. You're going to see this same interface here. You give the currency a name. Again, I called mine Snap Coins. It's primary. It's not a rank system. It's just a simple currency system. And then I gave it a ceiling amount. So every user can have up to 100,000 coins at a single time. This is how much they generate per minute, or you can have them generate it per hour. So let's say we do, actually let's do custom. So we're gonna give them, we'll do 10 every 30 minutes. How about that? So we did a custom acquisition rate of 10 every 30 minutes. You can also give them an offline rate. They can acquire one every one minute maybe, but let's make that disabled. No offline rate. <laughs> they can't just sit in your stream chat and start acquiring points. You can also do role bonuses, so subs get 50, mods get 50. You can also do event bonuses, so this is 50 coins upon a follow or when they host, and then 100 upon subscription. And then down here, this is if you want it to automatically reset biannually or yearly or weekly or daily or monthly. I just left that alone and then I hit save. Now once, once, now once you save, Mix It Up is going to automatically generate a few commands for you for dealing with your, your currency system. So if you go to commands, you'll see a few of them here. Here is Snap Coins. This will show the user how much they have. There's also Give Snap Coins and Add Snap Coins. So I could, for instance, add Snap Coins to your amount. Now you can use your currency system to have your viewers pay a certain amount to run a particular command. So let's say that I want them to spend a certain amount of Snap Coins to give me a drink. Okay, here's my drink command. I'm going to go to edit. This was an advanced command. And so you'll see these usage requirements here. And right here, you're going to see currency requirement and rank. So I can have it have a currency requirement of, I don't know, 20 Snap Coins to run the command. Now we can also create mini games. If you go to the sidebar here and go to games, it will not let you use this interface unless you have a currency system set up. New game, and it has a ton of different game types for you to choose from. And you can personalize them to your stream. So we're just gonna start with heist because everybody loves a heist. The heist game allows a user to start a group activity for users to individually bet when they participate. Each user has their own individual chance to succeed and win back more or fail and lose their bet. And then it gives you the command example here. So now you can customize the heist game. You can name it something else. If you don't want it to be named heist, you can customize the trigger. It uses my snap coin currency, but again, you can create multiple types of currencies. Here's the minimum and maximum. It has to have a minimum of two users join the game before it is played. There's a time limit. We can actually test the command for game start. And you can't see it, but in my chat on Mixer, it now says, I've started a game of heist. Type the amount to join in. You could also customize the payouts and their odds of winning. So we'll give users maybe a 30% chance of winning, mods a 60, and subs will give an 80, or we can make it a little lower. Let's actually make it a little lower. Okay, 20, 40, and 60. And then you can test the whether they've succeeded or failed. So all these, these are for testing the command here. We're going to save that. We can create another game. Let's see, we have, ooh, hot potato. 
The hot potato game gives a tickling potato bomb to a player who must then pass it off to someone else before it explodes. You can actually, you can actually designate a target user to pass the potato to. Here are the commands down at the bottom. We'll hit next and we can customize it. It turns out you don't really need a currency cost for this one, but you still needed to create a currency in order to be able to make these games. So we can just leave most everything, I believe, unless you want to customize it, but I'm going to allow user targeting. And we can actually test the command. Ooh, the potato exploded. Oh, okay. So you get, again, can test these commands and we'll save. So that is how you create a currency system and start making a few mini games. Again, you can make separate currency systems and set them towards particular ranks of individuals, which I'll show you how to do in the next video. Thanks for watching.